Hi, I'd like to show you progress on the text adventure game in Python. Here it is on GitHub. Here's the README. The idea is you come up with a theme for the game and invent some places and events that could happen there and items you might find and transitions among the places. Here's the code in IntelliJ IDEA. And this is a simple game that comes with it. It's called Coding Party. You start out at home. There's some events that might happen. You go to the library. Ultimately, you get to a coding party. Let's run. OK, you're at home. We found a coding party invitation. Our dog wags its tail, which knocks over a lamp. Fortunately, it didn't create a fire. Our happiness is down to 95. Um, it went up a little bit because the dog wagged its tail, but because it knocked over the lamp, it went down. And um, we're, we have the coding party invitation, and we can go to the library. So let's go to the library. and. Nothing happened at the library, so I guess we'll go home again. Go to the library again. Nothing happened. Oh, apparently. Oh, and then we went home, and look what happened. The dog wags its tail. Your dog's tail knocks over a lamp. The lamp starts a fire. So long. OK, well, we better restart. All right, we're at home. We got the coding party invitation. Go to the library. Back home. Aha, at the library this time, there was a programming book that we found. Now that we have the programming book, we can go to the coding party. Let's go to the coding party. And a group of interesting people has gathered to write code. Someone teaches you some Python. And you win a prize for most obfuscated code. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I guess if you were trying to make it obfuscated. Obfuscated means complicated, hard to read, sometimes deliberately so. Uh, the happiness is way up to 175. We've got these three things. And that's pretty much it for this. We can go back to the library. We can go home. There's also a ship game that comes with it. And you may have seen this before if you were aware of this program. So let's run this one. And here we're on the bridge of a spaceship in the captain's chair. We can go to the ready room, back to the bridge. We can go to the lift, the lounge. That improves our health. Back to the lift. We can go to the transporter room, but nothing is available there. Go back to the lift, go to the storage room. Aha, now we have a spacesuit. So when we go to the lift and the transporter room, now we can go to the planet. And we go to the planet, nothing happens on the planet, that's basically the end. Let's take a look at the simple game and just what the code looks like. There's a class called game and you subclass it with your game. And here you decide whether the condition that's kept is happiness or health or shields or dollars or whatever you want. And then this is the introduction. Here, we create a place. I'm going to push F1 to get the help for a place. You create a place, and you give a title and a description, and optionally, a sequence of events and a sequence of inventory items. But we're just creating the title and the description. Then we're creating three events, a WAG event with a 0.7 probability and a positive impact on our happiness. And then we create a lamp event with a minus 10 impact. And this can only happen twice in the game. And then a fire event. And that will, unless you have a whole lot of happiness, that will end it for you. Then we add the wag event to home. And these events are chained. So we chain the lamp event to the wag event. So if the wag event happens, then there's a chance that the chain, chained lamp event will happen. 
And then to the lamp event, we chain a fire event. So the probability that the fire event will happen is the product of these three probabilities, 0 0.7 times 0 0.8 times 0 0.3. Um, and then we create an inventory item, the coding party invitation. And there's a probability of 0.8 that we will acquire that inventory item when we arrive at this place, the home. And then we add the coding party invitation inventory item to the home. That's it for the home. The library is similar. The coding party is similar. Um, here we're adding three events at once. Here in transitions, we're saying that from home, you can always get to the library. And from the coding party, you can always get to the library and you can always get home. But from the library, you can go home, but to go to the coding party, you have to, you have, to have the programming book and the coding party invitation. So this is how that's encoded. I'll show you the help for uh, the place to which to transition and then must have zero more inventory items that you must possess in order to make that transition. Um, I've generated documentation for this using Sphinx. And so you could go through and have a look. So here's the event class. Here's add items, chain, the process uh, method gets called to process the event. Here's the game class and so on. I won't go through all these. Um, I'll put the GitHub link in the notes and I'll see you next time.